Hey guys, what's going on? Mr. Thomas here with Mr. Yacoub. Uh, there's been a lot of news lately about what's going on throughout the world with the coronavirus pandemic. And today we have with us an expert in the field of biomedical sciences, Mr. Yacoub from Oakcrest High School. He's going to tell us a little bit about glove safety and how to wear them properly. But first, Mr. Yacoub, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Mr. Thomas. You can uh, take a second and just let us know uh, what's the big deal with gloves? Why does everybody have to wear them? Well, obviously, with uh, what's going on um, today in the world with the uh, pandemic, all of us staying home, uh, more and more of us uh, find ourselves wearing gloves or being required to wear gloves or um, it's just smart to wear gloves when you're out in public uh, during this crisis, obviously. Um, I just want to say a quick word on gloves and the different materials that they come in. Um, there are latex gloves and you should be aware if you have a latex allergy um, prior to putting those on. So that's something to keep an eye out for. Um, I prefer the nitrile gloves. Um, these seem to come on and off very, very smoothly. So if you're able to get your hands on a pair of nitrile gloves, uh, those would be the way to go. But look out if you have a latex uh, allergy. Uh, and Mr. Yacoub, if you could let us know, how many times can you wear gloves or how often should you wear them? What's the, the proper protocol? Well, they are, um, gloves are really, especially in this situation, uh, is a one-time use thing. If you're going out in public and um, let's say you're going to the grocery store um, and you wear a pair of gloves, I wouldn't recommend you to wear them a second time around. Uh, I would dispose of them. Um, I know that there's some procedures as far as putting them on and taking them off properly so you don't spread germs or contaminate any other surfaces. Maybe you can walk us through what to do. Yeah, absolutely. Um, putting them on really, um, there's no right or wrong way to put them on. Um, it's taking them off really is what people should be aware of. So when, once you have your gloves on and you're done, you've, you've returned home or you've just gotten back into your car from shopping um, and you want to take them off, okay? There's a specific way that you want to take them off. You don't want to touch your skin at all. Um, when you're taking the gloves off. So uh, there's a specific technique that we use and I'm gonna try and show you guys here on the camera. Hopefully you guys can see my hands, okay? So when you take off the first glove, okay, you wanna pinch right in here, right in your palm area. You're gonna pinch this and pull, pull it down. As you pull it down, you wanna ball it up into your other hand. So I have not made any contact with this hand yet. Now, how am I gonna take this glove off? Well, right at your wrist, okay, if you just poke your finger right underneath and grab the inside of glove, the, the part that's not making any contact with any surfaces of any kind, you're just gonna hook your finger right underneath, okay, and, and pull it up over the ball of glove that was in your other hand, okay? And now you've created yourself a nice baggie and you can just toss it right in the garbage. That way you don't make any contact with your skin. Um, and you've completely disposed of the gloves properly. Wow, that's very cool, Mr. Yaku. Um, I don't think a lot of people realized how quickly germs spread across surfaces or from person to person. So I think wearing them properly and taking them off properly certainly will help with that situation. Well, one thing just to keep in mind is um, the gloves that are on, okay, should also serve as a reminder to not touch your face. Um, many people say, oh, well, what if you have your gloves on and um, you get an itch? Obviously, seeing the gloves on your hands should remind you, don't touch your face. And uh, one thing to also keep in mind is try not to make any contact with your phone when you have gloves on. Um, otherwise, you'll have to remember that you need to sanitize your phone as well. Wow, all good points. It, it's, uh, it's a scary world out there, but definitely by taking some of those steps, we can make it a safer place for all of us. So, Mr. Yacoub, thank you for your time today. Thanks for having me, Mr. Thomas, my pleasure. And guys, there you have it. There's some uh, quick tips for you to stay safe out there if you do have to venture out instead of staying in your house. So have a great day and hopefully you learned something.